The Richardson 112 is one of the hottest hats out there, with over 91 color options to choose from. But some people are finding these hard to decorate. So we're going to go find out here on Decoration Myths. Welcome everybody to Decoration Mess. I am Stefan Bear from SNS Activewear. I'm in studio or I'm looking at a awesome studio with Josh Ellsworth um, from Stalls and we have uh, some work to do today. And what we're going to talk about today is the Richardson headwear line. We're going to focus on the famed 112. So it is on fire right now in the marketplace, has been for years. It just keeps selling. We keep adding colors. We added, uh, you know, the 112 printed mesh, the 112 printed, 112 youth. The line is just growing. And so we've heard uh, from a lot of our customers that love the hat. Everybody wants it, but there's some challenges. And challenges is it's a six panel hat. There's a seam down the middle that gets intimidating. A lot of the um, prints are camo or plaid. How do I find the right decoration to mix in there? Then you have a camo even with a printed mesh and there's a lot going on. So just happy to be here with Josh because that machine in front of him and um, the applications and transfers that they do just makes the magic happen so welcome um yeah we appreciate you having me i think uh you know i'd like to say we're the star of the show today stefan but we know it's the richardson 112 and the hotronics 360 iq uh that's what's going to allow us to uh conquer these styles confidently and one of the cool things i love about the 112 and you were alluding to it is just the sheer ar array of styles and so literally as a, a decorator or a promo distributor, you can find a style that, that is tailored to any customer in any market. And so the concepts we're gonna teach you today are going to really teach you how to uh, conquer this uh, hat confidently or, or help your decorator con conquer this hat confidently. Um, and we're gonna start with the basics and kind of work our way up. So what do you think, should we get started? Absolutely, let's All go right. with the traditional 112. All right, so I'm gonna bring you in just a little bit uh, closer here on the hat press and um this is talk to me about this style this is the traditional one right this is the traditional 112 so we brought this in approximately about five years ago and um we brought in 12 colors and year to date now we have 91 colors in this style so when josh says you have a lot to pick from you have a lot to pick from so <laughs> um we really like it and you know richardson has just been They've been putting um, quality headwear out in the marketplace for 50 years. They just celebrated their 50th anniversary last year. And so now the influx of 112, like I said in the intro, is just led to many other styles. But Yeah, and I, I love this hat. I mean, it's a the snapback trucker. It's a, a really nice sort of universal hat for people to wear. So there's a, a really broad market. So, uh, But when you look at it, you are intimidated, six panels, right? And so that means basically you have six panels in the construction of the hat, which puts a center seam that we have to deal with down the center, that can be tough. Now, couple that with the fact that it's a structured cap, right? It has um, this sort of uh, structured surface, which looks awesome when you're wearing it, but can be really challenging to decorate. Now, if you've ever heat pressed a hat before, you know that structured hats and heat pressing they're super challenging because usually on a standard hat press of old, uh, prior to 2020, uh, you would get this really nasty crease, right? It would damage the cap when you're making it. And so, as I mentioned, one of the stars of the show is this 360 IQ. And what's cool about this machine, it has a silicone molded base right here. I can only touch it for a couple seconds because it is actually heating as well from underneath. Yeah. So when you look at the way this has been designed, uh, it's gonna allow us to approach any cap, including the Richardson 112, confidently and easily. And so the steps are simple. You you flip the sweatband out. Okay, I've decorated a, a ton of these in my life so far. And I'm just going to pinch uh, the sweatband out, makes it really easy to load. And then I'm going to slide it in from the side. So really efficient, really easy uh, to load onto the press. And then I seat this um, sweatband, the edge of the uh, bill, 
uh, right along the edge of the platen. Okay, so I'm kind of feeling for that. Now, right. yeah, the machine has a lockdown device because um, if you were to look close at this machine, there's still like a huge pucker and a gap between the hat and where it's contacting. Okay, that pucker uh, sometimes folds over, creates a crease. You want to get rid of it. And so these are the basics on how to load any of the styles we're going to talk about today. You load the cap on just like this. You lock the hold down device into place. Cool. And all these, although these caps are nice, they're not, you know, they can be kind of stretched and beat up a little bit to get them loaded properly. And that's really what you have to do is you have to seat the cap, just kind of wiggle the cap with the hold down device into place and run your fingers over it to kind of form the crown of the cap to the platen. And what that'll do, it takes about 10 seconds to load. It gets really good flat contact between the base of the heater, the silicone pad, and the print area of the cap. So that is step number one is get that print location, seat it on there, get it entirely flat and ready to go. That's great. Makes sense? And so Absolutely. Um, this is an actual local business because I thought, hey, we're making some samples here. So I'll drop them off to one of my favorite businesses in town. I shop there probably too much. Uh, yeah. And it's called uh, Joyce's Jewelry. So that's good for, for, the, <laughs> for the ladies in my life, my daughter and my wife. And um, yeah. the, the product is um, equally popular. It's called Flex Style. So you see like just the ridges and the dimension. I know some people call this liquid embroidery. I've seen decorators brand it differently, but it's just it pops, right? So it's going to be awesome here. So here's my settings. Those are important. I have the top heat at 280 degrees. That's my upper platen. I have the bottom heat at 320 degrees. And so while this cap's loaded, it's actually warming. And, it, and so I don't have to preheat or do any of those things that you normally do when you're printing shirts. And so I'm just going to take this and I'm going to, I'm going to need to stand to be able to see, but I'm just going to position it into place, right? So getting your logo straight is probably the most difficult thing, but um, once you have it positioned into place, I'm just gonna hold it against the hat for a couple seconds. That sort of warms the adhesive and gets it to hold and conform to the cap. And then there's one other important piece in the puzzle and that's this foam pad, okay? And cool. so there are these foam pads and they do come in different thicknesses. So this is an eighth inch. Um, I think this one's a quarter inch or uh, something like that. And uh, basically you match the thickness of the pad with the thickness of your logo. So for 99% of the things I do on this press, I'm always using the eighth inch pad. You can see it's kind of been used quite a bit here. <laughs> so there you go. That's yeah. a good thing to remember. Yeah, and you just lay it on there. Yeah. All right, you ready? This, this is how easy it is. We're gonna have 30 seconds to talk while I make this hat and print it on demand. You just lock the press down. That's it, 30 seconds. Wow. It's gonna count down, it's gonna open for us. Now, with the hat sitting on there, I mean, that's not a problem. I mean, we've been talking for a minute. It was set up. And, you know, at first I was sitting there going, wow, hey, whoa, 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 we got to get going. You know, the hat's just sitting there because 320 is coming through the bottom of it. But yeah, it doesn't hurt it. It's just kind of preheating and warming. Right. I mean, you don't have to leave it sit there long. You can like be really quick with these um, or it can sit there for a while while you get your next transfer ready. All wow. right. See, see, it opened that. up. Not only did it drop the pad off for us, uh, sometimes yeah. that happens. In this case, it actually peeled the carrier off uh, okay. for me as well. So that's pretty neat. Um, and then this is important, okay? We're gonna lock, unlock the hold down device. We're yeah. going to gently remove the cap the same way we loaded it. Okay, now keep in mind, this adhesive is still hot underneath here. So we don't wanna start picking at this right away. We need to let it cool down um, before we even mess up the structure of the cap, right? Because the fused buckram on this cap is still hot as well. So we don't want to be bending it or crunching it. Those will leave permanent marks in it. So we just pull it off very nicely, flip the sweatband back in. I usually like to, you know, get ready for presentation for the customer. And you know, when it cools down, it sticks and it stays, it's wow. on there. No, I mean, that really pops and it just goes right over that seam. Yeah, so. I mean, it's it's awesome. I'm trying to get as close as I can here, but it's no, beautiful product, it. um, no creasing, no scorching retail ready just like that that is great all right nice. you ready to step it up a level absolutely <laughs> all right yeah. so that that was flex style right and i'm equally excited about the decoration techniques that you can create a client's logo in as i am uh the hats it's the finished product and so when i look at our sales at stalls because we sell all these patch products uh one of the products that's been on fire is leather OK, and so right. we're going to show you a little bit about leather, but let's fir talk first about the this cap style. That's great. So that this is the 112P. 
And so you can see, you know, P is basically for printed. So this is your <clears throat> classic camo, you know, more of a fashion camo and um, nice mesh back. It's just a very trendy hat. And now that we're talking leather patches, that's a, a, another trend that is hugely popular. So this is, goes from a blank straight to retail ready. Yeah, I, I mean, camo is one of my favorite colors, I say. Um, so yeah. I wear camo a lot. And so I love this cap. And uh, but when you approach uh, camouflage and any pattern fabric, frankly, whether it's camo or something, we see that P on the Richardson style. We worry. We say, how's that going to impact my print? Is it going to bleed through? Because while I love camo, I want my logo to stay the correct color. Absolutely. Um, and so when we approach a hat like this, let's load it first, and then I'll talk to you a little bit about decorating it. I'm just going to remove the, the inside uh, cardboard piece. Again, we're going to flip the sweatband out. These sweatbands are really nice to handle. They're easy to just grab and flip out. Just going to bring it around. Again, I'm going to seat it there. You see how I'm kind of holding contact while I flip down the hold down device, and then I'm feeling for it. I can even do it without watching just to get that contact there. I'm just going to kind of tug at it seat it down in, you don't have to be shy and just get that really close contact, that part's done. Now, let's talk leather. Um, there are a lot of different colors of leather. Um, this is a finished cap, so I'll show you that first. This color is called taupe. I love this for like fashion, that's on your traditional, yeah, 112. Um, but the color I'm gonna use now is called natural. And I really like it for contrast with actually being able to see a customer's logo when you want that type of look. Nice. And so, Leather patch, um, you just order it. It comes with the adhesive on it. It's a heat activated adhesive. And all we have to do is follow the recipe for our press. So I'm gonna stand up and let's position that on. It works the same way. Uh, this is about two and a quarter inches tall on my logo size. Um, and so you see how I kind of held that against and I get the, the good contact there. Just gonna take my cover pad, position it onto place right over the seam again. And look how easy it is to lock down. I'm sitting down, very little pressure, locking That's the machine awesome. into place. Yeah. So question, so, you know, these leather patches, I mean, it, that that just looked awesome. Um, how, what's the time frame? Like once you submit artwork and it's approved, how long is the turnaround time on something like that? Yeah, so really sticky subject. Because <laughs> I read an email this morning where we had to extend our turn time a little bit just because of the sheer popularity while we scale our manufacturing resources. Uh, typically, um, we would be around a three to five day turn on this from art submissions. You can really um, order them and, and have them in and be printing the hats within a week's time. Nice. So again, we're gonna be careful here. Remove that, pop it back in. That's, that's awesome. Yeah, cause so many people get nervous with camo, like do I have to match the thread and you know, when it comes to embroidery and a lot of people go neon to pop right over it. But this patch solution is it's 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 nice. And with that turn time. Yeah. And leather's like a neutral. Right. So you can put it on, on almost anything and it works. It's just a matter of picking the shade of leather. I really like the natural on this. Uh, there's a the taupe and then there's a color in between that's a caramel that's kind of a, a medium brown shade. And so okay. I feel like between those three colors, you can conquer pretty much any of these patterns. Um, and it's a great solution uh, to stand out. And just to, to point out, um, this crown is really um, short. Um, this logo is a full two and a quarter inches high. You can go oh, up wow. to two and a half inches uh, on this on a height standpoint. Very cool. All right, so I know we're, uh, we wanna get as much in as possible. So let's keep sure. uh, moving. Um, I'm gonna save the grand finale for next, yeah. uh, but let's move on to our third cap because I love this style too. And I think it's, uh, Really a so, big sales opportunity. Yeah, so here you have the 112 PM. So that stands for printed mesh. So you can see the uniqueness of this hat. They've taken the mesh back and then put a design on that. And, you know, the American flag, we have Memorial Day coming up, camo. Um, what a great combo. And people get really excited about this, um, this line. But again, it comes back to how do I logo it? Right. right. What am I going to put on there to make my logo pop? Yeah. And so, so far we've done the, the flex style, which we'll do one more look of flex style here in a moment. We've done a uh, leather patch. Um, and so we're going to move to probably the most classic technique uh, for decorating uh, hats. And that is embroidery. So this is an embroidered patch. See all the threads in there? Oh, cool. 
you mash the red, white, and blue to pick up the mash. Yeah, and it's really cool. And so when you think about one of the problems this solves as well, when we talk about you know decorating myths, it's it's you can print on demand, right? With embroidery, you don't wow. necessarily even have to have the embroidery equipment. You can take this patch if you're running a sale, whether you're printing on site in an event or you're selling on an e-commerce store. You can easily apply this patch to a hat, to a left chest logo, to a backpack, um, and, and just basically commit the product once you get the order. So it's awesome. Wow. So like when you think of like a Greek store mm -hmm. that, that has this hot tronics, they can they can pre-order all the fraternities and sororities on that campus, have a classic color. You could customize it, but you can have the classic white on hand and print on demand. Yeah, you got it. And so we can, you know, have different themes. We have the Americana theme here. Uh, you could do camouflage themes. You can draw into different styles and patterns and holidays and times of year uh, to really just add a little more interest and, and to drive revenue. And the cool thing is, look, if you don't sell out this year, um, we can come back and we can print for the 4th of July or we can sure. uh, use it for, you know, different elections and uh, different things of that nature. And the patch is going to stay good. We can shelf them and use them next year. That's awesome. And then you can you can order volume, which gets you another discount. So, yeah. And I love the white on this. It just to me, when you wow. use white and lighter colors on these patterns, it just really makes the logo stand out. So you can really read it. That's awesome. Yeah. Now I'm going to give you a tip here and we're going to see it on the mesh um, when we print the mesh here in a second. Uh, but this is still hot. And I mentioned that before. And so what a lot of decorators where they'll run into an issue um, is they'll try to print the back of the hat or the side of the hat. They'll lock this hold down device in right away while this front of the hat is still warm. And that's going to leave, it's going to damage the cap. So I want to point that out. Okay. Um, everybody right now, be careful when you're printing the side and the back of the hat with using the hold down device. I really like the hold down device for the front print locations. Okay. Um, okay. We, let me show you one more look on this. So that's regular embroidered patch. This is 3D puff embroidery. So I know that's in demand. Wow. You see how that's coming off of there? So you can do that. That is so cool. Yeah. So many options. All right. You ready for the grand finale? I Absolutely. Love this. love this hat. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Cryptic license camo inferno. So this is um, it, it's it's a great line of license camo. They have typhoon. I mean, the list the list goes on and on. Um, but this inferno, a lot of people go, well, what do you do with that? Right. Yeah. So we recently had um, a huge barbecue restaurant um, put this in play. And so Josh and I had talked before this. And so we've got a, got a nice patch to put on there. Yeah, let me pull that in front of you. We'll give you a close up look because I'm going to give you a cost saving tip here. If you're if you're like, I need that hat press, I need to start getting into this flex style and these types of products. Um, give you a little tip. When you um, pay for these products, you're paying per patch, right? And so what I've done is I've grouped two print locations here. So the big pig grill um, grills that's in metallic, the, the pig itself is going to go on the front of the cap. And I've uh, had the, the location, Dexter, Missouri, we're actually going to print it on a mesh. So by ordering it this way, I save some cost. And what do you have to do? You just take some scissors and I made one, seemingly one patch, two print locations to save cost. It's the old um, arts and crafts. Got it is. <laughs> it yeah. is. I actually had a customer that just did um, um, a job in the oil and gas industry, sold 3,600 caps with flex style like this. And he had like different appreciation like for their jobs and titles and so he did it like this was nice. able to save thousands of dollars on the job wow um but you're right the big deal here is like what markets can i reach and how can i decorate this and so i love this uh barbecue concept to bring this to life again i just hold it there just for a second to get it to grip so it doesn't move um if for some reason you have problems with placement you can always buy thermal tape it's a heat resistant tape to tape your logo into place um oh, i cool. usually I don't use it, but some beginners may want that. And then you lock it down. Nice. Not, so I always say, if you can have one heat press, you can have two heat presses. So if you make this a real part of your business and are selling a lot and you're doing a couple hundred piece uh, jobs, while this presses down, you can be loading station two. Just helps you turn them a lot quicker. Yeah, and it's so great to mix up the looks, right? If you have a, a long-term customer is just bringing something new and headwear allows you to do that. I mean, 
not only with all the styles that we have, but now, now you've got different patches. Yeah, so here we go. So this is the finish. Let's get you a close-up shot of the peel here. So I just grab the corner uh, once it cools down a little bit and just remove. Slides wow. away that easy. That's it. That is so cool. Yeah, and it's durable too. I know a lot of people are like, can you pick that off? Well, how long will it last? I'm telling you, how you sell this is you order samples and uh, most people will think it's not going to last on there, but it will. So make samples, hand them to your clients to get believability. And once they see this product, they won't go back to traditional decorating techniques. That's All right. awesome. Let's, uh, let's step it up here. Um, All right. The, so this is a big myth is how do you print the mesh, right? Yeah. Because the mesh is, it's a different fabric, right? It looks like it could melt. Oh my God, we're going to heat press it. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah and it's... Uh, um, no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's two things I want I want to point out when we're printing mesh. So this press is called a 360 IQ. Uh, we've branded it like that because there is a huge space between where you load the hat and the base of the press, which actually allows you to rotate the hat and print 360 degrees around it with the bill still hanging down. So that's a, a unique thing we've built into this machine. And these yeah. all represent branding locations. I know if you watch golf, watch any big tournament, you know that those hats are logoed clear round. Absolutely. Right? And so those are all profit potentials. Now, when you're decorating the mesh, I have two things. I can't flip the sweatband out um, on some of these. If I get too close to like the uh, snapback portion of the hat, um, okay. you know, it's sewn there. So it's tough to, to flip out. I'll say this. If you can flip the sweatband out with your location, do it. If you can't, don't worry about it. Don't panic. Uh, we'll be able to adjust for that with just a little bit more time. OK, so do you want to print the side or do you want to print Probably the side's going to look best on this. You want to go with that? Sure. Yeah. Because we could certainly print this location, but usually I'd like to arch my text there or do a small sure. logo. Yeah, um, so I would do left panel. Yeah. Side hit. All right. So I'm going to try to flip the sweatband out. I'm able to do it pretty effective on this one, but it's kind of warping um, the bill of my cap, which is tough for you to see. So I'm worried if I warp that and apply heat sure. to it, it's going to be a permanent damage. So I'll leave the sweatband in just to not stress. Uh, the cap out here, stress myself out. All right, so we'll, uh, load that. No yeah, and it lays flat. You see that there? Like, there's really not a whole lot of maneuvering here. It just lays completely flat. Just want to make sure I have this corner of the bill out of the way. Um, and then I'll just peel back my uh, flex style little word mark here that says the city that this particular barbecue joint's in. Position it into place. Same process, guys. Cover it with your cover pad. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take these 30 seconds and I'm going to take it up about 10 to 15 seconds to get through that sweat man. So touch screen here. I know it's tough to see, but I'm just hitting uh, touch screen. Yeah, 42 seconds sounds good. And then I'm just going to go ahead and lock the machine down, keeping an eye on my bill to make sure it's not going to uh, hit contact there. I've just loaded it right. And now we're printing mesh. That is awesome. So no, I'll show you. having that extra hit, I mean, really brings that kind of retail feel. When you present that to a customer, you you know, and you're including their city where they've been doing business in and their state, it, it's a win. It's a huge win. So yeah, and and so this is one. While we still have 12 seconds left, this is one I did earlier. That's kind of a little more fun in nature. Uh, she Rex that's Club cool. sort of design. It's a domed. Uh, design so it has rounded corners and i hit a little you know hit the, put the year on it for oh, a little cool. branding location but sports numbers like there's a ton of opportunities for unique branding around this cap all right so again i'm going to remove it before i peel because i don't want the adhesive to still be hot you can see the carrier still there and i'm sure. just going to grab the corner boom wow that's it. that is that's awesome yeah, so let's barbecue. I'm ready. Right. Yeah, ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> I think that maybe what I'll have for lunch today. I'll go grab some barbecue. But in, nice. in a short amount of time, um, and with a lot of talking, we've customized uh, four hats uh, on demand. Done everything from showing you just how to conquer something uh, basic to get started, to jumping up into different finishes with leather patches onto uh, printed backdrops, That's how to match. Cool printed mesh with embroidered patches, and then our grand finale, how to really uh, bring to life uh, a design 
um, on this style with even printing the mesh. Business. Yeah. I mean, the logo screams at that. Well, I can't thank you enough for the time. These sessions, I so look forward to them because it's constant learning and I'm always wowed and the ideas just start flowing. So, yeah. So I, I, I feel like for everybody watching this question is what do you do next? Right. And so in my mind, um, it starts with making sure that your decorator or if you're doing the decoration yourself, that you have the capability uh, to be able to print with the latest equipment, because there have been technology leaps uh, when it comes to printing headwear. And so it starts with that. Um, and then let's say once you get the machine, uh, just sampling, ordering different styles, thinking about the different markets you're going to want to reach with the 112 style. Uh, people are going to love the Richardson name brand. And they're going to recognize it. Awesome. And so if you can add their logo to it, sales sales take off from there. So I appreciate you having me. This is going to be oh, a fun no. series. I love it. I love it. We're going to do, we're going to do more soon. I have tons of ideas and I know you do too. And um, just thank, uh, thank you to Stalls for the time. And um, what a machine. It's very yeah. good. We appreciate it. Thanks for having us. Good luck, guys. Appreciate awesome. you watching. Hey, thanks for joining us on this episode of Decoration Mess. For more information on any of the products that you've seen today, check out the links in the description below. And if you enjoyed any part of the video, give us a like as well. See you next time.